Hey, we're back in Exodus 13, and today we're looking at chapter 13 and verses 19 and 20. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had made the sons of Israel solemnly swear, saying, God will surely take care of you, and you shall carry my bones from here with you. Then they set out from Sukkoth and camped in Etham on the edge of the wilderness. Now, the last five verses in the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, those last five verses deal with the death of Joseph. And Joseph there makes, he has his, his progeny make, make a promise to him. You're going up from here because he saw it prophetically. God showed Joseph prophetically. And that at a certain point, later point in time, that all the Hebrews would be going back to Israel. And so Joseph says, hey, why don't you go? Make sure you take my bones with you. Now, probably because this is Egypt, right? Joseph was probably more or less embalmed, like kind of like a mummy situation. Uh, but anyway, his bones and whatever his remains are in, in the Bible, the bones, when they say the bones, that means the bones. It may also mean any other, the desiccated flesh, you know, kind of clinging to the bones that remain. Um, so Joseph exacts this promise, you're going to take me with you. And you might say, well, why? Who cares? It's bones. It's dead bones. You know, God's going to remake the whole thing in the resurrection. Uh, why Why were the Hebrews so set on, you know, like they have these family ossuaries, you know, where they store all the dead bones of their dead ancestors? Why did that even really matter? Was this like, you know, keeping relics, you know, like uh, it just nice ancient things. This is our family. So here's the bones of, you know, triple grandfather. No, was this because they... They had sort of a vague uh, misconceptions about the afterlife and all that. Well, no, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's this. He wants to be with his people. They, they, I think when you go back to the Bible, you find in the earliest portions, you find there just as well as you find elsewhere, there's a belief that God will eventually cause us to live again, the resurrection theme, which we see so strongly in the New Testament. I believe that Joseph believed that God would raise him from the dead, and, and, and this was the hope uh, all along for going way back. And so what he wants to do is he wants, when he's raised from the dead, when that day comes, when his change comes, uh, he wants to be with his family, a very strong family orientation. So I think this keeping of the bones was actually a testimony to the belief in the resurrection. Why bother to keep them otherwise? So. This is a, a piece of faith, faith looking forward to a time when people are restored, when we're restored in the new earth. And I think Joseph had it. And here they're taking his bones just as he prophesied. They're taking them back to Israel. So maybe you and I, we don't practice a big thing about uh, storing all the bones of our ancestors. But let's not make fun of or think less of those who did. Uh, for them, this may have been an act of faith as they look to the day, the last day, the final day, the day of judgment, when God would bring his people back, back to life. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning.